Hi, this is Farrell, and here is issue three cover of Robot Todd. You can see here, I didn't do a thumbnail or anything for this page, but you can see here that the way it's kind of laid out, uh, it's gone, gone through, like, went through a few different iterations in the pencil stages. Normally I'll, like, thumbnail a cover, you know, draw, like, I'll do, like, a little teeny drawing of it first, but I, I really wasn't sure exactly what I wanted going on in this. I knew I wanted Todd to be the central figure, and uh, for the, the title to appear above his head. Um, and that he, you know, since what was going on in the comic, you know, he was uh, at the edge of this pit being picked apart by ravens and stuff. So I thought I would just kind of use that scene. And I wanted the fox to be running towards him, like the moment's meeting, because the idea was at the end of issue two, the fox was like coming towards him. But uh, I was talking with a friend of mine, and he was saying that doing 32-page issues was kind of dumb. So <laughs> I'm changing the issue structure. So the first issue is still going to be 32 pages, but uh, issues 2 through 5 are all going to be 20 pages. And from then on, I'm going to hopefully do at least about like 15 issues of this book um, once I pick up my pace a little bit. But uh, So you can see here that the cover just kind of jumped from super sketchy to very tight finished pencils uh were tight for me anyway uh and that's because I, I turned the camera off for like a lot of the uh penciling stage when I was drawing the especially when I was drawing the fox and the raven like once I got the sort of composition where I wanted like oh, okay I want the fox to be walking towards him on the back cover because this is going to be the left side is the back cover and the right side is the front cover just the way the covers work um this is you know wrap around the, the seam down the middle is where the staples would go basically um so the uh f yeah i wanted the fox to be walking towards him and then i got the idea as i was drawing this like oh i should have since the wizard's kind of watching him he's that like floating eyeball and the and the disembodied hand there on the left it's pointing like don't touch the screen um i want him to be watching todd he's kind of you know trying to get the raven his, his little minions to bring Todd back to him or Todd to him, I should say. I don't think they really met yet, but, um, the, uh, I, I got the idea to like, Oh, instead of the Fox being kind of off in the distance and this being a landscape, I kind of wanted to make it more like a, uh, like a montage, I guess. Um, is that what you call that? Uh, uh, and so I, I got the idea to make all these circle like, oh, because in the comic, this wizard's looking at orbs, these little floating orbs that are like his television screens or like closed circuit TV screens. So he has all these little robots and birds and different mut mutant creatures and stuff that he can kind of see through. And uh, the, the how he sees through them is these little magic orbs that are in his castle and he never leaves. He never leaves his, his little lair. Uh, and so I started drawing this and cause I, ba it was basically the main reason I wanted to draw it like this was cause I wanted to include that Peter Saylor's character who I've really <laughs> grown fond of. He's the guy in the lower right that's like touching the screen. Um, he's not supposed to, he's being a bad boy. And so, uh, yeah, I, I kind of wanted him to be originally the Fox to be the central figure, but then I was like, oh man, it'd be fun to draw him on there. And I wanted the little the little cute guys on the front cover to be kind of at the the bottom of the page, so I put some on the left left side too. That because those have been in the story before too, so it kind of made sense, compositionally and story wise, the, the way it ended up being. But there was sort of this danger of like it it pulling your eye too much all over the place, not having like a central focus. But hopefully, it, I I kept kind of covering up the back cover part, the left hand side of the thing just to see how the front cover would look on like the comic book store rack or whatever. Um, and uh, hopefully, yeah, it'll come out okay. The only part that I kind of re regret was the um, the fox. I, I did, I kind of went over him twice. Uh, originally, the way I painted it, I really liked, but then I, I was like, oh, I need to, to kind of render that a little bit more and it's gonna be at night. So it should kind of make it look more like in the, he's in the dark. And then I kind of felt like I ended up overdoing it and it didn't really look, I wasn't really crazy about the finished result on the Fox, but I just got to the point where like, I got to stop working on this, man. It's just taking me too long to do it. Um, I spent way too many days working on this, but uh, normally I can do one of these pages a week, but this is like basically like two pages and because I was trying to figure it out. And also I've been doing these, uh, 
sorry, I'm just making excuses, but uh, I've been doing these sept drawings. So that character that I'm painting right here in the video up there in the, the upper left hand, he's like stuck in a, like a block of like this like crystal stuff. And uh, I, I got the idea because I, when I was wanting to do these as 32 page issues, I was going to have him uh, like a backup feature with her, with Sept, is actually a girl, I keep calling him because originally it was a guy, but I changed it. And uh, But uh, I wanted to uh, do a backup story with Sept and Ember, just kind of walking around and maybe add some like poetry or dialogue over it or something. Uh, there's Peter, yeah. Uh, and uh, so I, start, I was going to start doing these panel a day, which I just did. I just finished them. I did a 31, I did 31 drawings of Sept walking around. Um, it's on my Instagram and stuff. I just posted it if you want to check them all out. Uh, and I want to do like a, I'm going to do a zine of it now, basically, because I had to, in order to make the issues, uh, 24 page issues, I had to dump some stuff. And uh, one of the things, and I hadn't done it yet, was the, was doing this backup comic, but I still wanted to draw it, and I kind of wanted to do, like, something for Inktober or whatever. So I uh, I just decided just to do them anyway, just to do them. And I was like, well, maybe I'll just do them as, like, a zine or something. So I think that's the idea, is that hopefully in a couple weeks or something, I'll have, like, a, um, a zine at the printer. I'm probably going to crowdfund it, but it'll just be, like, a 32-page kind of small issues like one panel a page and uh yeah uh so yeah hopefully that'll that'll work out and i might include it in the trade the robot todd trade um so it'll be like a separate thing from the comic but it'll it, it kind of pertains to the story a little bit as you see uh the journey that todd made or the sept makes in the second issue she gets swept away by the water and stuff uh and then in the first issue when they meet, so you, so you see in this, in the zine that I'm going to be doing, you see the, how they, right before they meet, like what Sept is doing right before they meet. And then it picks up also kind of jumps to where she's like going down the water slide thing. And then, so it's a little adventure her walking through the, the, this post-apocalyptic magic world. And, uh, and then it ends up with, uh, her getting stuck in this crystal thing. And then so that's where when Todd is, Todd is separated from her in the second issue, but in the third issue, they meet up again. I haven't drawn that part yet, but they're going to meet up again. And that was sort of where the little zine thing is going to leave off is him, him finding her. Anyway, okay, so here we're well into the painting stage. And you can see there what I was talking about with the fox there, where I, I kind of darkened the whole thing. And, um, oh, I actually, that's not yet. I, hadn't, I haven't painted the fox yet. I just painted the, the night scene above it but see i feel like that that looks kind of good but then the finished result i'm not as crazy about but um overall i think the cover's pretty solid um it was kind of hard to say how like i was imagining it it was sort of like uh the fir i feel like the first two covers was a lot more uh kind of locked like oh i'm just gonna draw something and it'll be like this and you know uh, actually, that's not entirely true because the first issue there was I penciled it, and there was a long time before I painted it and inked it and painted it, and then there was a long time before I actually started working on pages. Um, but uh, yeah, you can go back and see the video of me working on that. I, I I might have the timeline kind of screwed up because that was a while ago. It was like a year or more. <laughs> um, but yeah, here we're getting pretty close to the finish. Um, still haven't painted the fox yet, but here I was just kind of trying to figure out like what I wanted to do with the background. Like I almost wanted to, the, there you can see that I painted the fox in between there. So it's a lot darker and it makes more sense for at night and it doesn't look terrible from here, but, uh, I just kind of liked the original thing. It seemed less fussy. So I don't know if you noticed, but I painted out the little word balloon that Robot Todd was saying. He's like, I'm up. Cause I originally had a gag where he was saying, get up, you know, so it, so I had it changed to uh, birds don't hurt, you know, can't hurt me. And then uh, I, I, I re-scanned the whole thing because I realized there was some crap on the scanner. And then I realized after I re-scanned, I was like, I'm just going to have put ellipses in there. Yeah, and there's all my books, sadly mostly out of print, but 2020, 2020, you can still get from Floating World. And I have a Patreon. So two bucks a month and you can read all these Robot Todd pages and help support my art and all that stuff. Okay, thanks. Bye.